G'day guys, Rick here from Iron Edge. Uh, just going to go through all the details and the specifications of the assault rack and uh, really try and explain why we've built it like we have and uh, why it's a high-end product and why you're going to get great value for money. So I'm going to get you to come in closer here, Jared. I'm going to start at the top all the way from the, uh, the chin bar. So you can see here the chin bar is set at 2 metres 40. Uh, this can also be adjusted in height, so it can come down by actually flipping this bracket here upside down. You could end up having the uh, chin bar at about 170, or you could have it at uh, 180 and then 90, 200, all the way up to about 265. So you can see this bracket here has got these four holes, so you can actually adjust it depending on how tall you are uh, to what size chin bar you want. Looking at the chin bar here, this is 33 millimetres in diameter. That's the most common diameter people like for chinning. As you can also see, the, um, the textured matte black finish. So this is really nice to hold on to. Uh, when you, even when you put chalk on it, the chalk tends to stick to it. So you're not going to have any issues with uh, hanging onto the chin bar. We've even got these, um, you can see a lot of the other racks on the market have two chin bars here to give it that stability, that ends up interfering with um, what you're doing and also adds additional cost. What we've done is just have a long bracket through here which gives it that strength so you only need to have that one chin bar. You can see we've got these uh, supportive gussets through there, all the welds have been beautifully uh, finished and super strong because they're made here in Australia. Um, now just looking at these uprights here, um, these are 3 mil RHS. Um, they've got holes at uh, one and a half inches apart and every third hole has got an indexed notch in it so you can actually marry them up when you're adjusting your spotting arms and your J cups easy to actually determine what height you've got them at. There's approximately 200 individual holes from the larger holes through to the small holes for the bolts uh, all been laser cutted. Everything here has been laser cutted, so the uh, tolerances are extremely tight and um, very precise. Having got these J cups here, again, uh, 10 mil steel uh, with the plastic protections. This is a 6 mil polyethylene protection here, so you can just slam your bar down on this with uh, absolute confidence. It's not going to uh, destroy the knurling. Normally, when you adjust the bar to reset it in the middle, that's when it really tears apart the knurling, but with the plastic there's no issues at all. Coming down to the spotting arms here now, uh, similar configuration, you've got your locking pin here, locking pin on the back, you simply pull them out, set them at whatever height you need, lock that back in, put the pin in, put the locking pin back in just there and you're good to go. So 4 mil steel these are made out of, 10 mil brackets uh, on the back and you've got the 6 mil plastic spotting uh, protection here as well. This can be replaced so you know after years of abuse of dropping weights on here and as you can see we had 400 odd kilo on here and the, um, the knurling actually starts making an imprint on this plastic but uh, yeah, it's going to be a while before that wears away, um, but if, if need be, um, these can be re replaced at a nominal fee. Um, we've got the uh, utility pegs here. These just screw in with a nut, like so. These are solid steel, uh, so super strong. These are used for plate storage here on the um, outside, so I've got two notches here for plate storage, plus so they can be used on the spotting arms here for for dips uh, so you can just move this spotting arm up to a certain height put a couple of pegs in and you're good to go for some dips now coming down to the um, configuration of how we built it down the bottom here this whole this piece on the, the pieces on the side here are one six uh, one uh, one point six seven five uh, millimetres, or 1.675 uh, metres I should say. This has all been welded onto this base plate here, so this is what gives it its strength and stability when you're using it. So you slot your um, RHS into this 75mm sleeve here, 
you do these two bolts up and then you've got the tightening knob in here so that the two bolts here support it laterally and then this tightening knob here will, sort, uh, will tighten it and uh, support it both forward and back. So doing that up nice and tight means you don't, just don't have hardly any play in that whatsoever, hence the unit doesn't need to be bolted down. And this, uh, these, these pieces here are made out of four mil steel, so it gives it that nice um, solid weight, uh, so it provides that anchoring uh, support for you know, any work that's done higher above there. All these um, bolts are high tensile, the um, Allen key high tensile bolts on the back here. We've got this bracket on, on the back here which uh, is actually welded to the, these long pieces there and then you've just got this last uh, 75 by 50 mil piece that just slots in, screw those Allen key bolts in We've got um, four, four, and two, and two on the back there, and that just locks it all into place like so. You also see on the front here, we haven't even used uh, plastic uh, plastic caps on this. This is actually steel again. It's just been welded on, which provides that. Um, yeah, so no water water will actually get into that, which is great. Um, coming over here, even the uh, Iron Edge logo has been uh, pot riveted on here. This is just a um, laser cut piece. Um, gives it some nice branding and also uh, makes it look nice and strong and tough. Right. Anyway, there's um, not a hell of a lot more to cover. Um, this will take any weight you can dish up. Uh, we demonstrated uh, in one of the other videos uh, there was about 430 kilos sitting on the end of these spotting arms. That's if you miss a lift. If you're not missing lifts, I mean, this thing would take, you know, 500, 600, 700 kilo, whatever it, you can dish up. So um, you've got the utmost confidence uh, when using it. Um, there's no other rack like this on the market. It can't be made any better. And uh, for those who are into some serious training, who want the best, you're looking at right here, the assault rack.